how are we doing? And I'm going to show you something I got today. It's uh, this silver line uh, padlock. So one of the round steel padlocks, and um, it's a 54 millimeter uh, hardened steel shackle, chrome plated, three keys, brass cylinder. Um, but yeah. Um, here it is here and it has a core if the camera decides to focus again it has a core like this and you can actually take that core out which I will do in a, in a short while just pick this first and uh, yeah not much of a key there key bidding it's actually five pins that last one I'm not really sure if it's meant to be used as key um, retaining or whatever but you can see there it's key retaining and uh, got a screw in there so yeah, we'll take that out in a bit. <clears throat> First though, we just need to pick this. Uh, I haven't picked it at all yet. And there's a nice keyway. I'll give it that. Um, but yeah, I think it would be nice if I could replace this plot or this core with a, a bit, maybe a pest or something like that something that would fit this so if you have any suggestions or if you think that this core can be replaced please let me know because I would love to put something nicer in there maybe even do a trade and get a nice core to put in this lock because this one uh, so I just wanted a lock to get it um, like this to put into the, the collection but uh be nice as the bonus to have a nice core inside it so just lubricate that a little and you'll see now if we can just put a bit of I think I could use the 25,000 sh short hook. Oh, I'd rather be picking this in my hand. Now, let's zoom in. Okay. So that maybe use the bottom of the keyway so just tension it and uh, yeah it does have a strong spring on the core which I've really looked at So it feels like it's all standard pins in there. 
and um, just remove that now and show you what we have in terms of uh, in terms of this core. So let me show you. Because I kind of I think you might be able to replace this core with a uh, something nice like a best core or whatever. And I don't really know. Unless I get destructive on this lock, how to um, take that core and then rekey it or repin it or whatever, because I'll show you why now. Let's see if I can just get this core out. So, yeah. okay. Already lubed up now. Messy. Okay. So, as you can see here, got that, got the spring here. So it puts a good bit of a, um, it's kind of, I think it makes the picking harder having the spring on there anyway but yeah ignore that spring for a moment and have a look see this tail piece here um, I wonder do the best core be able to or something like that be able to fit this because you can see you need to you need to be able to attach it with a screw there um, to the inside of the lock. Now, I suppose it's not the end of the world, it's just, it's just more like I say, a bonus. As they, you can see, they, they use some sort of freaking um, solder or whatever to pin it up, so I'd have to remove that in order to get the pins out, but I, I'm telling you now, they're probably just standard pins. But uh, yeah, this lock's gonna just go into my collection anyway. And uh, unless I can find a, go get a, if I get a better one, then uh, yeah, then I would uh, replace this one from the collection. But really, all I need is an example of uh, this type of body of a lock in my collection, just to show the different shapes they come in and, and stuff but uh... yeah not much picking resistance to this lock anyway okay so that's back in there yeah that's uh... that's pretty much it uh, so nice little lock, I'd say a strong lock on, on the outside anyway but uh, the inside, not much drill resistance or uh, pick resistance anyway. So yeah, cheers and I'll see you in the next one. Thanks.